down is the shape of our galaxy, that it has spiral arms. You can't science fiction zoom out of our galaxy and look back, although we've all seen it on cartoons, comic books, comedy books, TV programs, and bad movies. <laughs> but you can look sideways into our galaxy, and just as your heads are almost at the same plane, with some higher and some lower, right? So I kind of look through your heads, and there's a blur of heads. So William Morgan and his students looked into the Milky Way. Did you know there are three ways of saying way in English? Three meanings? W-A-Y? One of the ways is... One of the ways is... Another way is... Our galaxy is a hundred billion stars. And you say, no way. way. And the third way is... <laughs> we were traveling on the highway, or the expressway, or the Milky Way. It means road or path. So we look at the Milky Way, which we can still see at Yerkes. Are you running in continuous time? Yeah. Good Lord. Do you mind? No, I want a copy. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, we look in the Milky Way, and when we do that, we see a whole bunch of stars represented by you three that are about the same distance and about the same brightness. And we see the same kind of star, which should be identically bright if it's the same distance, but there's a whole other row of them at a discrete distance parts of a third. Now, if we were in a flattened pancake of a galaxy, they'd be everywhere. They'd be random, but they're not. They're a whole bunch at one distance, a whole bunch at another. Morgan and his students did this between 1927 and, no, 1937 and 1954. So the telescope's only 40 years old. And I'd say that, you know, the shape of our galaxy, that's important. <laughs> you mean by, by 